Um, another experience that I had when I was a sophomore is that I um, had four or five friends. There was uh, Earl McKenna, um, there was Howard Galloway and Ray Nielsen. And then we had a kid by the name of Junior Davis who didn't run with us, but uh, he did on this occasion. We, we'd we been exploring up above the stage in the, um, in the assembly room, in the auditorium of the school. Now this school was condemned 20 years before, but we were still holding school in it. And there used to be a, a kind of a rope ladder that went up above the lights when they, or they would arrange the lights above the stage when they'd have certain performances. <clears throat> and so some of us had climbed up in the attic, up that rope ladder, clear up above the ceiling, which was at least 20 feet high in the auditorium. And Mr. Loosley, who was the music teacher and the choral leader, he was putting the program on this day and we didn't want to go to the assembly. So we thought we'd go exploring. So we, we went up in, in the attic up above and it was dark up there, except there were some holes in the roof that beams of light would come down through. So you could kind of see a little bit, but it was also dark. And we knew enough to stay on the trusses, or they weren't trusses, they were, they were, um, um, they were rafters that held the ceiling up and then there was insulation between the, the two by eights that were rafters. And so if you stepped off of the rafter, you would step over in the insulation and, and you'd step down into the, the plaster that covered the ceiling. So you had to walk on the rafters. And we knew that. Well, being dark up there and being, um, not being able to see very well, Junior Davis, who used to run the 440 in our track, he was he was a, he was just like a cat. That guy could move as quick as a cat, and he was he was just spontaneously he would he would jump and go do something different. But he stepped off the rafter. Well, what happened? Somebody had put a bust up there of George Washington. We used to have a big bust of George Washington and Abraham Lincoln down on each side of the stage. And I guess somebody wanted to get rid of those and so they'd put them up there in the attic. And well, one of those rays of light happened to come right down across the nose of George Washington. He looked like a dead man laying there. He could just see just his nose and his face. And it scared Junior. He thought it was a dead man because he could just see the head of George, George Washington. Washington. George Washington had a big nose, as I remember. And, and that ray was just right on that nose. And he could see the lips and he could see kind of the eyes. I'm just scared of and, and it was just laying there. So it looked like it was dark. You couldn't see the rest of the body, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. And he jumped off the rafter and he stepped over into the insulation and his leg went right down through the plaster. Now here's a whole school of kids down there in the auditorium listening to this choral group that Mr. Loosley is leading. <laughs> <laughs> Great big chunk of the plaster comes, <laughs> boom, <laughs> and then there's a leg, a leg <laughs> hanging <laughs> out of the seat. <laughs> and 
It's a wonder it didn't kill somebody because it was a big chunk of plaster. <laughs> Anyways, they they caught us and that cost each one of us thirteen dollars and forty cents to have that all repaired, and we got expelled from school because. We were not in the assembly where we should be. We were up doing things we shouldn't do. And so that's the second time that I was expelled. But it was fun. But yeah, it was all in fun. <laughs> what, what did you learn from it, Jack? What's the lesson learned? Well, to do what you're told to do. And I mean, and stay on the rafters. 13, you know, and stay on the rafters. Stay on the rafters. <laughs> that's good. Thirteen dollars and forty cents was a lot of money to a kid in nineteen forty six. Yeah. You know, I was getting twenty five cents an hour for sweeping the store out and taking the clinkers out at the J C Penney store. That's a lot of quarters oh, yeah. to have to come up with, and I had to pay for that out of my money. And anyway, that was the second time that we got expelled. The first time we got expelled was the seminary deal, and I've already told you that mm -hmm. story, so we won't tell that story again. So that's the three times that I got expelled out of high school, and I, I was not the easiest child in the world to lit to to raise, and my dad and mom were were wonderful people to put up with me and to tolerate me, but I didn't do things that were super serious. We just had a lot of fun. We just did, did fun things. Did you learn on this one to follow the rules? Did I do what? Learn on this one to follow the rules? <clears throat> I don't think I learned very well, but it, but it was a penalty that I never forgot. So <laughs> yeah, I, I, I learned this better. It's costly. If you make bad decisions, there's usually bad consequences that follow. If you make good decisions, you have good consequences. So maybe that's the moral of the story. <laughs>